Another Minnesota-oriented teaching artist has some of her work now on display in Brainerd. Alice Blessing has her art paintings in the collection 13 Nonconformity available to be viewed at the Crossing Arts Alliance. Our newest reporter, Hank Hazelton, has the story. The exhibit here in the heart of downtown Brainerd is being done by Alice Blessing. Blessing expresses her creativity through her years as a child and now as a mother. She's an artist out of Bemidji. Her title is 13 Nonconformity, which addresses um, kind of uh, girls and the mixed, me mixed messaging that they have as they're growing throughout um, their childhood into puberty. The 13 Nonconformity Project represents the strength that Blessing sees in young girls in order to inspire them to feel powerful. The inspiration for this comes within her own child. So as you read the artist statement, you learn more about her, her personal experiences, um, and the development of our children in society and our communities. Blessings paintings can be understood in many different ways. That's what makes it art. One unique thing about Blessing is that the collection is all done without a brush, but with the tip of her finger. It's phenomenal work. Uh, typically you're going to see people creating uh, these types of paintings with uh, paintbrushes and things, but there's not a paintbrush that has ever touched this canvas. The entire 13 Nonconformity collection has taken over two years to finish in its completion. I connect with these girls. I've been these girls before, some of them. I have a daughter and I see my daughter in them and I think a lot of community members that come in, um, as we talk with people coming in, they gravitate to certain pieces and say, oh my gosh, that's my daughter. With the help of Crossing Arts Alliance, Alice Blessing's paintings are an inspiration to come and see. With or without disabilities, the strength of women is displayed in many different ways. Reporting in Brainerd, I'm Hank Hazelton. Lakeland News. Part of the proceeds from the exhibit sales will be donated to the American Civil Liberties Union and the Trevor Project. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.